Let's take a tour of the ProNav GPS watch from Lofthouse Golf. Simply press and hold the top left button for two seconds to turn the unit on or off. This will also function as the back button while in the settings menu. The ProNav will measure your distance in both meters and yards. To change between the two, scroll to the setup menu and select OK. OK again for the systems menu and then scroll down to the scale to select the appropriate unit. Press OK here so that you can bring down the menu that allows you to choose between meters and yards. Select OK for the appropriate unit, and then hit back to go back to the systems menu. From here, you can adjust the display, the time, and the sounds for the unit. Press back again, and you're ready to play golf. Now you're gonna see the weak signal indicator here, and that's because I'm inside shooting the video. But when you're outside, the ProNav will automatically recognize which of the 30,000 preloaded courses you're on. Now if you have to select the course manually, press OK, down to manual, and OK again. Select the continent that you're on, and then the country. Next, you'll be prompted to select the state, and then the course that you're playing. Now I get to play a lot of golf in Delaware, and that's because Lofthouse headquarters is right next door. One of my favorite courses to play is actually located in Middletown. Select OK for Middletown and then choose Bat Creek Golf, one of my very favorite courses. Select OK one more time and we're ready to play golf. Now with the GPS signal these dashes here will be replaced by yardages and they will be to the back, the center, and the front of the green. That's what the B, C, and F stand for. In the top right, you'll note the whole number and its par. Below that, the S stands for score, and that will register after you've logged your score for each hole. Using the up and down buttons, you can scroll through the holes, see what's coming, or review your scores from a previous hole. Now, once you've piped your drive right down the middle, it's time to hit a wedge in and knock in that birdie. Press and hold the top right button or the up button for two seconds to enter your score. It will show the hole you're on, what par is, and your score. Press the back button and we're on to the next hole. Now this one's a par three. I hate to say it, but I feel a three putt coming. Let's say you flush the seven iron right in the middle of the green, but you get a dreaded case of the yips and you three putt your way to a bogey. All you need to do is press and hold the top right button, select four or one over par, press back and you're ready to go to the next hole. As you can see, your score, one over par, is located in the bottom right for the second hole, a par three, the information you see in the top right. Now when your round is over, press the back button and then OK to save your scores. To review your scores, just hit the up or down button a few times to get to the score page. Select OK and then you're in your bank of saved scores. Scroll through to select the right round, and it's all right there for you, broken down by the front and back nine, your score, and its relation to par. For hole-by-hole -hole scores, hit OK on the side you wish to see. Then you have the whole round right in front of you on your wrist. Each hole, its par, and your score in relation to par. Scroll to see all of the holes on that side. At the bottom of each is your total score for that side. Press back and you're at the scorecard for that day. Now when you're ready to go home, press back two times and up or down until you get back to the time page. You can continue to use the ProNav as a watch for the rest of the day. Only this timepiece carries proof of all of your great rounds right inside. When you get home at the end of the day, simply take the watch off and attach the charging clip. And that's it. You're done. You're ready to play faster golf with more precision and confidence.